everyone, this is Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. Going to take a look at Game 2 of the Eastern Conference Finals that's scheduled for Friday night between the Indiana Pacers and Miami Heat at American Airlines Arena. Opening tip scheduled for 8.30 Eastern Time on TNT. The Heat opened up as 7.5 point home favorites. That number has been knocked down to 7, while the real mover has been the total 182 to 180.5 at SBRodds.com. Of course, the Pacers are going to be looking to bounce back from a 103-102 overtime loss as 8.5-point road underdogs to the Heat in Game 1 on Wednesday night. Going over the total, a pick you got right here at SBRvideo.com. 18 ties and 17 lead changes in that affair. Forward Paul George really emerged on the seed in front of a national audience, scored 27 points, and he came in leading the team and averaging 19.1 points per game during the 2013 NBA playoffs. The Pacers 5-3 straight up, 4-4 four four against the spread when revenging a close loss of three or less points since the beginning of the regular season. When you look at the Miami Heat, four-time NBA MVP LeBron James really rose to the occasion. Ninth career, triple-double in the NBA playoffs, 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. But there was an interesting uh, statistic that emerged that could lead to a, a loss or two for the Heat in this series, and that is from the free throw line. The Heat shot 64%, James hit four of seven from the charity stripe, and Dwayne Wade missed three of his four shots from the free throw line. Eight and two straight up, two and eight against the spread. After a close win of three points or less, the underdog is currently on a 29-14-1 run in this particular series. And I really like the way that Indiana defends the three-point line and the fact that Dwayne Wade is not near 100%. You see him at times, he can be explosive when he needs to be, but it's very reserved because he can't do it for a full 48 minutes. And Chris Bosh, everybody thought he was going to be an X factor in the series due to the fact he played in just 16 minutes in last year's playoff series against the Pacers. He did not look right on the basketball court in terms of how they want to use him in the series. So I think the Indiana Pacers are going to stay within this number, especially, like I said, their three-point field goal percentage defense. They led the NBA in that category, and if the Heat want to cover this type of number, they need Ray Allen, Shane Battier, and Mario Chalmers to knock down some shots from the three-point line, and I don't see them doing that in Game 2. So I'm going to pick the Indiana Pacers plus seven against the Miami Heat on Friday night. This has been another edition of Across the Board here at SBRForum.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at Jeff Grant Sports.